and welcome to our premiere episode of Noon Hour Out of the Box. We are so excited and appreciate all of you being here. So this is unscripted chat, and it's about whatever is on our mind. I do want to thank Jenny DeHame, our producer, for her incredible support. Robert, are you, ins are you excited? I'm excited. Excited is not the word. I'm excited by the fact that we have our amazing friend and producer, Jenny, who's going to be taking care of uh, all of the, uh, the stuff going on with the show. That in itself is exciting, but I'm also honored and excited to be working with my good friend, Esther. I I'm so excited to be here with you. This is amazing. And by the way, I googled what out of the box means. So I'm just going to read that to you so that everyone else can understand as well. My so th yeah, thinking outside of the box, also thinking out of the box or thinking beyond the box is a metaphor that means to think differently, unconventionally, or from a new perspective. This is a phrase that often refers to novel or creative thinking. Robert, I know before the show, you were telling me that there is something on your mind and I want you to tell us about it. What's on my mind? Yeah. After, I've been trying to figure this out for years. Why in God's name do women have mammoth-sized purses? I mean, they're huge. What do you have to put in there? Can you be, like, normal? <laughs> Why do you have oversized purses? Can someone answer that, please? Listen. My purse is always large and I have a lot of items that I carry with me. So, you know, and it's all in the what if scenario. For instance, I have my pharmaceuticals. There's my Tylenol. There's my uh, uh, ibuprofens. I have antacids. I have, um, you know, given the situation that we're in, I have various different masks. I have my KN95. I have my three ply. I have my fabric. I have my hand sanitizers. And then there's the cosmetics. I have different cosmetic bags, depending on whether it's for skincare or it's for, you know, my makeup, lipstick, etc. And then, you know, of course, I have all the stuff that I need for my cell phone. I have my wires and, you know, stuff like that. And there's there's so much more. I, I see absolutely nothing wrong with having a large bag. Obviously, you have an issue with it. So what's going on with that? I have an issue. <laughs> Esther, I'm still traumatized. I'm not sure I want to travel again. I what do you mean? Remember. I'm the type of guy, if I'm going on a trip, right? I go to bed with my tickets and my passport in my hand. I shave with my tickets and my passport in my hand. I'm all the way driving to the airport in the taxi with these documents in my hand. I'm in line. I'm the first one in line and the first one on the plane. But with the girlfriend I had, no. She has to be in line. Like, tickets are inside the purse. Always the last one there. Hmm. Everybody's got their documents ready. No, she doesn't have our documents ready. So what happens? We get to the gate. The agent's there waiting for the passport and the tickets. And of course, as luck would have it, she doesn't have them. But she starts looking for them and looking and looking. And by this time, everybody's on the plane. The plane's about to leave. Now, I'm getting a little bit impatient over here, right? So you know what I do? I just take the bag because I'm a little upset now. I flip it upside down and you have like this, uh, a deluge of debris. I call that debris. A useless stuff in there. I've been absolutely, look, I don't even want to get into that. And then I hear a buzzing sound as if there's a bee in there. Oh, my God. You know, is there a beehive or what? Wouldn't you know it? Out of the debris, out of the buzzing and all that, I got this funny-looking lipstick. And it's like I pick it up on my hand and it's shaking. What the hell is this? Robert, heard, Robert, I don't think that's a lipstick. I think that's something else that it's probably for another podcast. Well, anyways, I can tell you one thing. It smelled funny, but that's besides the point. Oh, my God. So, you know, I, I, I could just imagine trying to put on the lipstick with that thing over there, like you're smothering your face, going in your nostrils and your eyes and all that. I mean, what? anyways, look, I don't know. It's for another podcast anyway. So <laughs> with all the contents, empty it out, still can't find the tickets. And then wouldn't you know it, I see a slit inside the liner trying to get the tickets. And you know what? No, no. I can see the pilots are getting impatient. Everybody's impatient. I said, you know what? I just lose it, rip open the liner, get the tickets, give them to the uh, the boarding agent. She's freaking out. Oh, my Michael Kors purse. I paid it $700 at Vegas. I paid that U.S. I go, 
big deal. I paid for it. Like, who cares? Let's get on the plane. We got a vacation that, to go to. We're getting on the plane. They don't want to let us on the plane. You know what happened? We had to put that purse inside the luggage compartment and they charge us extra. What a way to start off a vacation. And you, you know what? You'd think she would close the zipper, right? No, no. 39,000 feet, all the turbulence, all the movement there. Purse is not even close to top it all off. You know what? <laughs> what a way to start a vacation. So you're asking me why I have a problem with purses, oversized purses? There you go. So do you have a solution to that? What do, what do you suggest? Uh, my suggestion is very simple. You know what? <laughs> I can take six items out of that purse right now, and all of a sudden you're going to have a lot of room. Look, give me an example. Cut your hair short. That's ridiculous. Never. Esther, you don't need that round brush. You don't need the flat brush. There's no more mousse you got to carry, no more gel, no more hairspray, no more hair dryer. Six items gone. How much room is in the purse? Wallets? What do you need three wallets for? All you need is your credit card, your debit card, driver's license, and Medicare card. And you put that inside your pocket. You don't need a purse. That's ridiculous. Not only do I have my regular wallet, I have my wallet for my points cards as well points. and for business cards. So that's uh, absolutely impossible. And I'll, let's not forget the portable rain jacket that I have just in case. Like I said, it's the just in case scenario. And I don't think I'm alone in that. Esther, like seriously, like, you know, I'll tell you what, you want to make a few extra bucks? Do it like this. <laughs> seriously, we're in business here. Look, come up with a clothing line with all sorts of zippers and compartments and pockets and all that. You eliminate the purse. I'm telling you, it's a pain in the rear having these purses. Actually, I think it's a great idea, making garments with different various pockets and zippers. And if anybody out there has any suggestions, we'd love to hear it because obviously this is an issue for Robert. I have no problem with it. And, and I think it's more common than you realize. In fact, this just in from Jenny, the fact checker. So <laughs> let's just see. Apparently, we are not alone. So this is actually considered by the Guinness World Book of Records the largest bag in existence. It's 4.1 meters high, 3.55 meters long, and 1.2 meters wide. The bag is completely handmade by Italian leather crafters. So, and it weighs 500 kilos. Do you know from what 500 kilos is? It's the size of an Asian elephant. Okay, so... <laughs> Obviously, we are not alone in thinking that women need large bags. Look at this. They went to the trouble to make this incredible bag. That purse is the size of a plane, Esther. <laughs> Obviously, it's an exaggeration, but, but just to say that the need for a large purse is more common than you realize, and I have absolutely no issue for, with that as, at all. You know what? A little idea sparked up from all of this. We have our partner, Vincent Gargano, okay, who is merchandising our stuff on 514brandingco.com. So, by the way, folks, you can go on to the uh, 514brandingco.com and you can get our merchandise there. And you know what? What if, what if in the near future, we have an oversized purse available? But the noon hour out of the box, you know, that could be an idea. You know what? Because it's our first episode, we're going to launch our lunch special gift. So we want the audience to answer this question. If Robert were stranded in an island, what would he have in his bag? Now, you guys have to answer it during this segment. And the first person to answer it is winning Robert, what will they win? They're going to win a noon hour out of the box mug. That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so does anybody know what Robert would have in his oversized bag if he was stranded in an island? I, I think by now people should know me well enough. You know? Well, what do you think, Esther? Think out of the box. Think inside your mind. Don't give it away. But are you thinking what I'm thinking? I, I think you'd have a little miniature airplane to start with and maybe a little pilot's cap. Like that, that would be an absolute necessity for you. Am I right? Exactly. 
<laughs> but you know, if I'm in a, on a deserted island, it's thanks to the plane that went down. I'm probably not going to be in the mood to be like, you know, an, an airline pilot, whatever, you know, because let's face it, I'm stranded on an island, who knows, maybe for four years, <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. You know, I, what can I tell you? So obviously there's a, a, a film that we're, that's in reference here. Can we use that as a hint? I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Esther? The film. There is a film that we're referring to here as a hint for our, for our audience. Well, uh, yeah. You want me to say the name of the film? Is that it? If you want to. It's up to you. Okay. You know what? We can tease them. You know what? I, I don't think it's a good idea, Esther, to give away the name of the film, but we can tease them, right? Absolutely. Okay. So I'll tell you what. Yeah, four years, you know, on an island, and uh, let's see, hmm, uh, lots of coconut trees, lots of palms. How's that? <laughs> so obviously, this is a film that you favor a lot. Probably one of your most favorite films of all time. Am I correct? Well, we'll let the audience guess that. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's that. Okay, that's wonderful. You know what, Esther? Yeah. Let's give the audience a chance to ponder on this to see if they could, you know, come up with a clue or whatever. If, because they got three minutes left. After the three minutes, it's going to be too late. So, guys, as an opener, as a launch to our show, what do you think would be in my oversized purse if I would be stranded on an island? You got three minutes left. So, Esther, did you want to cover another topic in the meantime? Well, you know, the only thing that kind of irks me sometimes is when I go into uh, certain warehouse stores or, or hardware stores, I should say, and I have no one there to serve me. Oh. That's an issue that I have. I know that when I was renovating my mother's upstairs, I was going there often and I didn't know what I was looking for. I didn't really understand. I just know I needed a certain pipe, a certain type of wood, and they there was no one there to help me. So I have an issue with that. I don't know why these big box stores in particular, without naming names, don't have people to service you. So that that's an issue that I have. And you know what? I know exactly which store you're talking about. Yeah. Again, I won't name it. You okay. know what? I would rather pay that extra few dollars and get the service I deserve. You know what? I you agree. What I, I agree. I agree. Why? Why? So why can't they? I, I understand that being a big box store actually, you know, includes having a more discounted price, but that that shouldn't stop them from having more people available, especially, you know, uh, someone like myself who's not that well versed in these type of items. I need help. If there's a certain screw that I need or, or a certain type of wood I'm, I'm really not that familiar with it and i do need the help and it they're just not to be found at all so yeah that's that's an issue well you know i i find it unfair in a sense because what these stores are telling you well you know i go to one of these other stores where they do have service get the service there waste the guy's time for an hour right and then when you have when you have all the information then you come to us and come and buy i think that's unfair practice yeah and i agree you know? Yeah, absolutely. You know, if I go to the guy, I don't care paying that extra hundred dollars more, but the guy was nice enough to tell me oh, it's got this. Oh, actually it doesn't have that. Well, thank you so much because I won't buy that TV, but because you're so good, why don't you find me a TV that does have that, you know, uh, application, something to do with bumblebees and lipstick shows and what have you, you know what I mean? So, yeah, definitely they should make themselves more available. So I, I definitely have a beef with that. So that's that's kind of what's on my mind because I know that I'm starting to do a little bit of construction here and I know that I, that's, you know, I have that to look forward to. So I'm hoping that will not be the case this time, that I'll, people will be more helpful. Yeah, well, hey, you know, what? Can, I don't know. Let's just be happy, Esther. You know what? <laughs> okay. This is our first show. This is our pilot episode. And yes. to each of you who have tuned in, a sincere, sincere, huge thanks to all of you. Thanks to Jenny for an amazing job. Like usual, she put together uh, the show for us. Um, the opening of the show, it was Jenny. The whole concept, it's Jenny. Jenny, hats off to you. Such a pleasure to have you in our lives. You're so fantastic. Vincent Gargano, a big thank you to you for associating yourself with us for the merchandising. So, people, once again, um, 
let's uh, let's give uh, Vince a shout out over here, and uh, we're gonna get put up here where you can go to get our merchandise. It's 514brandingco.com, folks. 514brandingco.com. And it's the amazing Vincent Gargano who is taking care of the merchandising, our partner in crime. Esther, 15 yes. minutes are up. That's unbelievable. Where did the time go? I had a blast. Jeez, <laughs> I had a good time too, actually. <laughs> so, guys, hey, listen, um, we got a few seconds left. Is there anybody who wants to do, uh, you know, a final try? If I was on a deserted island, what would be in the purse? Let's give him another 30 seconds, Esther. And then Absolutely. After I'm feeling very generous today. So let, let's do that. You're feeling generous? <laughs> generous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. You know what? You know what, Esther? Yes. Because no one answered. But we're going to do something else. Okay. We have a wonderful person here who came into the chat. And I've seen this wonderful lady. She tunes into Rob's Inner Circle. That's uh, my podcast with Jenny as well. A shout out to Vicky Saint-Cartier. And Vicky, you know what? Because you were the first one to tune in to Noon Hour Out of the Box, I could just hear her, hear her anticipating and celebrating. Vicky Sankarci, you are the winner of the ah! new hour out of the box mug. Fantastic. Congratulations, Vicky. Amazing. Well, guys, uh, Esther, your closing comments. I had an absolute blast. I love this idea. I'm seriously unscripted, seriously had no clue what you were going to ask me. So <laughs> a lot of fun. Thank you so much for including me in this crazy kooky out of the box idea i absolutely love it and i can't wait till next wednesday hey folks if you guys have any suggestions for any topics you want us to cover feel free even after the show uh you can go on youtube on esther's breeze on that channel or bobby short shorts as well or am i today it's on my personal facebook page robert delessio you can leave your comments give us those likes get a little bit of encouragement share get it out there so guys feel free to include whatever you would like for us to talk about Esther, you get the last word thank you so much to everyone who watched for for taking the time in their noon break to whether they were having their lunch going to have their lunch or had their lunch we thank you so much for spending that time with us adios everybody ciao ciao